Quap or Getting Over It Made by Bennett Foddy are games you may already know about from the viral videos made by PewDiePie or maybe even I Show Speed. But there's several other games and they're just as interesting, if not more. So this is every Bennett Foddy game in blank minutes, starting with Quap. Quap was made in 2008 where the player spawns in as a runner on a 100 meter track, but the twist is that you can only use the Q, W, O, and P keys to move, and apparently it's not easy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. okay I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give myself one more try. Q for the thighs, P for the calves. Alright, one more, one more try, one more try, one more try. Alright, one more try, one more try. Alright, one more, one. I was gonna say one more time, but I'll just keep moving because I'm not that good at this. Next up, also made in 2008, we have Little Master Cricket. I don't know what cricket is. I know this is like what like British people play or something. Okay, I'm gonna give myself one more try. This is just like Quap. Oh, oh. Oh my, I don't know, it's actually really hard to control, but you know, I gave it a try. Now in 2010, Bennett Foddy made Evacuation. And this is one that's old, but I've never played it before. And I can't play it today because Adobe Flash Player doesn't exist anymore. It's dead. This is gameplay of the game Evacuation. I don't really know what's going on, and I don't really care to find out. We're gonna move on to 2011 when he made the game Grip or GURP because this one is like a rock climbing game apparently. GRIP is the sequel to QUA. I didn't know this was the sequel. You just press the key and it'll reach for it. But like it's not easy. It's really actually pretty hard. I think I got off to a bad start. I'm gonna let him fall. All right, now watch me. Watch me reach the top. So let's say MF. I can't reach F. Let me go for R. Why he would just, why'd he let go? M R. Come on, come on. Okay, wait, why is it so hard? He doesn't have any core strength. Maybe I'd be able to do it if he was a little stronger. I don't know. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't make him do push-ups every day. Like, come on, just reach the R. Just reach the R. If I start swinging. Now I'm just, I'm actually getting mad. Why is it so difficult? Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I don't like that game. And I thought it was easier than it was, but no, no, it's just, it's not. It's that, that was, that was trash. And I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I did not like that. Okay. So now we got pole riders and you know, like, don't worry about the name. So still in 2011, the game pole riders was made. And honestly, this is my favorite one. I played this one when I was supposed to be doing work in school all the time. It's what you do. Okay. So first thing wrong, I'm supposed to have a pole in my hand. It's like one of those Olympic vaulting poles where they like launch themselves up I think you know what I mean but I'm not holding one anyway every time I go up a level I get another star and by I guess by five stars I beat the game this is actually my favorite game because of the physics oh yeah there's also a timer and it's really short if you don't get to the next level by the time the timer ends you go down a level all right yep just got demoted all right let me zoom in let me lock in Come on. Holes longer than I'm imagining. I got demoted. I was just almost across the finish line. I think I might get demoted again. I'm back at level one. I will play this game for the next two hours. I made it across. Nah, but I don't give up. I don't give up. I'm gonna have to cut this short. But I'm going to sit here for four hours and get this. Because that's just how I'm built. I don't even want to do this no more. Why does he have to make the game so difficult? I guess he stopped making games or something for 2011 because too many people were sending him hate messages for making a game like that. But next game is Clop. So this is Clop. I actually couldn't get it to work because guess what? Yeah, Adobe Flash Player is dead. And uh, they didn't create any type of workaround for it like some of the other games. But but here's the thing. Not a lot of people play Clop. And Clop is, uh, Clop is like a lot like Quop. Remember from the beginning of the video? Except you're a horse. So you, you still are just trying to make your way and move. Except you're a horse. And... <laughs> It looks like you were just not born in a horse's body, except you are in a horse's body. So the goal is to not bump your head, but they end up throwing like things like mountains and hills and these rocks that make you trip. And if you hit your head, bro, you're back to the beginning. And this one's a lot more than 100 meters. I don't know how far it is, but it's a lot more. Clop, 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 lantern. Clop. Hey, clop. Badass. I got some sort of time. <laughs> what am I watching right now? 
another one from 2012 we got get on top okay so this one's still working and this one is honestly one of the best it's very simple you have two people one person controls using wasd and the other person controls using the the number keys and uh and pretty much you're both just like jumping trying to avoid getting your head slammed and like the strategy to this game and the reaction timing and like yo this is so underrated this game is actually amazing oh every time you refresh you get a new color too that's sick like it's like you ever see that meme of like venom dunking on someone that's what it feels like when you beat someone in this game because you could really just like damn it's like it's like you could beat someone up in real life and if they if they if they slammed you in this game it wouldn't even matter because what was more embarrassing getting slammed in this game so this one i didn't i never knew about this one it's called bennett body speed chess and apparently 10 years ago in 2013 he created a game where you're able to play chess with 16 players it's the quickest game of chess you've ever seen on your marks Get set. Chess. Pawn to B3. Pawn to B4. Pawn to B3. Pawn to B5. Pawn to F3. Bishop to X. Pawn to B2. Pawn to D3. Pawn to B1. How much longer can it go? Pawn to Queen takes King checkmate. Okay, so, like, what was that? I, I, I don't know. This wasn't the big hit. This did not change his career, but, uh, yeah, that exists. All right, next, Zebra 2016. I don't really understand where this one came from. So, apparently, this is a maze game, but I don't really understand how it works at all. WASD plus mouse. It says it's a maze game, but I don't, I don't really understand what, what is, what I'm looking at. My, my brain hurts right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be. I close my eyes and I can still see it. What, so what is, let me just look it up. Well, it looks like the game, no one's ever played it or and posted on YouTube. It made my eyes feel worse. It makes my brain hurt. And I think I might've been brainwashed, but hey. That's just what comes with the job. Multi Bowl was made in 2016. I've never heard of this one. What is this? He made a fighting game? Wait, what? So it looks like he made a game where you 1v1 someone in a bunch of different old games. And pretty much it keeps track of the score. You just have to 1v1 them in all the different games. And I guess if you have the most skill across the, all, all of the games, you win. Well, I didn't even know they had wrestling this long ago. <laughs> what am I watching right now? So that was in 2016. And this is where it's going to get familiar. Because now we have Getting Over It. 2017 is the year Bennett Foddy made Getting Over It. And it's just a legendary game. This game went absolutely viral just about everywhere. And it's not because it's easy. This is another one of those games that's just really Really difficult except over the years i happen to master it because if there's one thing i can't tolerate is being beaten by a machine that's not happening it's been a while i'm gonna beat it again for old time's sake oh that was close that was close All right, how long did that take? That was five minutes. In less than five minutes, I beat the game. But when you beat this game, it says, welcome to the top of the mountain. If you're alone, you can come inside and say hello. And then there's this agreement they want me to sign that says, I solemnly swear that I am not recording or streaming this. And I understand that only those who have climbed are welcome. So I click this box and I'm agreeing that no one, is, I'm not recording or streaming. Here's the issue. It's been six years. It's been more than five years. At this point, the agreement has been broken so many times that I'm not going to make a difference if I show it right now. So here's what's on the other side of the screen, even though I'm not supposed to show you. First, tell me your name. And boom, it's not even that crazy. I, when I first played this, when I first heard about this screen and not knowing what was on the other side, I thought I was going to get money. No, it brings you to a page where you can pay him. You click the souvenir shop button and you can pay him money, cold hard cash for a sticker or just to support him. And that's cool. Nothing's wrong with that. But it's nothing to keep secret. <laughs> like, yo, anybody alive? Hello.
what the fuck? One year later, we have the game Flop. So Flop is a small project Bennett Foddy decided to take on, and he says it's like one of the necessities as a game developer that you create, you know, your own little game for some of the most classic games. And this is a variation of the game Pong. I don't know if it'll run on my computer. I'm gonna give it a try, but it looks really fun. This guy knows how to do his physics. Okay, my mouse is my mouse is moving one. Okay, so you can play it. And I like how it looks, like the physics look cool, but I don't think this is how it's supposed to be played. Oh, okay, yeah, aesthetic overall, pretty cool. Is it easily playable? No. And finally, we have Baby Steps. Baby Steps is a 2024 game. It's not even 2024 for me yet. By the time I post this, it will be, but this game is gonna come out in summer 2024. It looks insane, just check it out. Nate! Nate! Nate, buddy, family meeting, let's go. About this. Not right now. You are okay. literally killing him with these pizzas. You just want to throw him out on the street. No, I, no I, he's 35. I want him to have some kind of discipline. Yeah, discipline. Okay, if you can hear my voice, I want you to Yo, he was watching One Piece. <laughs> a family meeting. <laughs> from the creators of Ape Out and Getting Over It. Dang, he's falling down a lot. Bro. So, okay, I don't wanna to show too much of it, but pretty much it looks like a combination of Quap and like, I don't know, Quap in 3D. Like, I, I don't know what else I'd compare it to, except it looks like there's a storyline and the graphics are looking like Skyrim or Fallout maybe. So it, it's like Quap if you gave Quap a story and a big budget. Like this almost looks like Rust gameplay. I would play it in this video if I could, but I literally cannot play it because it hasn't came out yet. So that's every single Bennett Foddy game. I don't really feel like these games get enough appreciation for how much they're made by the same person. But these games are just, they just happen to be really good and I played them throughout my entire life. So I'm glad I can make a video on this, but that's all I gotta say, goodbye.